After filling in the description and namespace files, it's time to fill in the help files found in the man folder. The contents of these files takes a form similar to that of LaTeX. Don't worry if you aren't familiar with LaTeX, I'll cover everything you need. Let's begin by looking at the EDA plot help file. You'll notice many commands, each starting with a backslash. This is the general form for commands in our help files, which is similar to that of LaTeX. There are also several lines starting with a percent symbol. These are comments in the help file. All right, let's return to the top of the file and start from the beginning. The first command is the name command, and generally you can just leave this command alone. Next is the alias command. The alias command helps our index the help files. For instance, when a user types question mark EDA plot, R goes looking for the help file that has the alias EDA plot. The third line is a comment. Generally, I've found it's helpful to read these comments and then delete them after I'm done. In the next section, add a short title, and then add a longer description in the next section. After the description is the usage section. This shows the function with its default arguments. The arguments section contains the descriptions for each of the different arguments for this function. Generally, I find it helpful to avoid highly technical language in these descriptions. In this case, I'll be very brief and fill in more details later. The details section can contain additional information about the function or particular object that's being described in the help file. Like the description section and some of the other sections in the help file, it can contain regular text and it can also contain other types of text including italicized text and bold text. If you'd like to make multiple paragraphs, skip two lines before starting additional text. You may also add a hyperlinked URL by using the URL command. Hyperlinked text can be created using the href command. The first argument of this command is the URL, and the second part is the text to be hyperlinked. If you reference any functions or code, you can use the code command to put it into a typewriter font. The value section is the value that's returned by the function. You can fill in additional details there, otherwise, if the function doesn't return a value, you can go ahead and delete this section. If you have references, they can go in the references section, otherwise this section can also be deleted. The author or authors can be listed in the author section. Otherwise, you can delete this section as well. The notes section may also be deleted, or you can add additional notes there. If you'd like to add any additional sections, you may add your own using the section command. The see also section is relatively important. It helps users navigate around through your package to different objects and to different functions. The general form is to have a function or an object listed within a link command, which is nested within a code command. The link command will link the object to its own particular help file, and the code command will format the text so that it looks like it's in typewriter font. Here, I'm going to list links to the MyPDF and Mario Kart help files. Next comes the examples section. Here is where you should place coding examples. These should be directly executable. By default, the help file will show the full function declaration for the object associated with the help file, and this should be deleted. In its place, type your own examples. Here, I'm going to apply EDA plot to the Mario Kart dataset. However, there's one problem. EDA plot is an interactive function, but this can actually cause problems later on during different parts of the package building process. To prevent these later errors, I'm going to wrap the EDA plot function in a don't run command. This tells R when you're doing some certain checks on this package, don't run this code. The last component of the help file are keywords. Here you can add keywords if you like one per keyword command, or you can delete this component. With that, the EDA plot help file has been completed. I'll save it, close it, and we'll go on to the next file. Let's look next at the Mario Kart help file. 
As before, we have a name and an alias section, which you can leave alone. In the third line of a data help file, there's a command called doctype. This just indicates that this particular help file is for a data set. The first parts that we need to edit are the title and the description. Here I'll add a short title, and I'll add a description later on. Next is the usage section, which shows how to call the data in the R console. After usage is the format section. This is where the format of the data is described. This particular data set is a data frame with 143 observations or rows and 12 variables or columns. Each of the column names are listed and R provides default descriptions for them. However, these aren't very informative so I'm going to fill in a few more details. Alright, that's enough for now, but I want to take a look at one more particular variable. The title variable is a factor, although it really just lists the titles for each of the different auctions. By default, R will list all of the different levels for a factor, and this makes the help file kind of crowded. For this reason, I'm going to fill in the title description right away. As before, there's a details section. Since I don't have any details that I want to add, I'm going to delete it. In the source section of a data help file, indicate the original source of the data. Here I'll use a URL command to make it easy to visit the original source. In the references section, fill in any references for this particular data set. Here I'm going to fill in a textbook where an analysis of the data can be found. Finally, we've reached the examples section. Normally I'd spend more time on the examples, but I want us to move along, so here I'll just list a histogram. The keywords come last. Here if I wanted to I could add additional keywords, but let's move on. I'm going to save the Mario Kart help file, close it, and we'll move on to the next help files. The next help files, MyPDF and MyPNG, they're very similar functions, so I'm going to put them both in one help file. I have to choose one file that will be the master file. I'll make this the MyPDF file. This means I'll need to copy a couple of the components of the MyPNG file into the MyPDF file. First, I'll copy the alias command. This way, users can find help for the MyPNG function in the MyPDF help file. I'll also copy the usage component into the other help file. Had the MyPNG function had any different arguments from the MyPDF function, I would also need to copy those extra arguments over into the MyPDF help file. Alright, I'm done with the MyPNG file, so I'm going to close it, and I'm also going to delete it, because I don't need it anymore. Now let's return to the merged help file. At the top of the help file, we have a name command. Again, we can just leave this alone. The next lines are the two alias commands for these two functions. This way, users looking for either function will be directed to this help file. Next, I'll add a title, but I'll wait to fill in the description until a later time. Next is the familiar usage section. However, in this case, the lines are kind of long, and in the usage section, the lines don't automatically wrap. So to make sure the final help file looks reasonably formatted, I'm going to create some manual line breaks. This will help the final appearance of the help file. In the arguments section, I can fill in details for each of the arguments for each function. However, some of the arguments have different meanings for the two different functions, and for this reason I need to be careful when I specify the details. For instance, the width has a different meaning for each of the functions. I'll fill in the remaining details later except for the very last argument. In R functions, you have the option to pass arguments from one function to another. This is shown in the help file by a dots argument. In such cases, you should be careful to specify which function the arguments are passed to. In this case, the arguments are passed to functions PDF and PNG. So I'm going to format these using the code command. 
Additionally, I'd like to link them to their help files. To do so, I'll use the link command. But there's one catch. The link command only works between help files within a package. To link to a help file that's outside of the current package, an additional option needs to be listed. This option is listed in brackets before the braces, and it's just the package name of the function. Here, the PDF and PNG functions are contained in the GR devices package. For these functions, I don't have any additional details, they don't return a value, I don't want to add a reference, I don't want to list an author, and I don't have any notes or other sections that I want to add, so I'm going to delete each of these. In the usage section, I'm going to list the EDA plot function and also the Mario Kart dataset. Additionally, I'd like to link to the PDF and PNG functions in the GR devices package, plus one more function, the dev off function that is also in the GR devices package. Next is the example section. The my PDF and my PNG functions actually create files. And for this reason, I don't want R to actually run these commands when it does a package check. So I'm going to wrap the example code in a don't run command. Later, I'll come back and add more examples. At the end of the help file, I'm not going to include any keywords right now, so I'm going to delete these lines. That completes the MyPDF and MyPNG help file. So I'm going to save this file, close it, and we'll go on to the next file. The last file to edit is the package help file. If you like, you can actually just delete this help file. It isn't actually very common in many packages. But here, I'll go through the package help file. The package help file starts out with a name command, just like in all the other help files. It's followed by two alias commands and also a doc type command. The title, description, and details all should also be filled in. However, they actually correspond to parts of the description file. However, they actually correspond to parts of the description file that we filled in during the last video. Generally, it's a good idea to make sure that the description file and this package file correspond, and I'm going to leave that till later. At the bottom of the details section, there's room for a few more details if you'd like to add more information beyond what's in the description file. The author section should also correspond to the description file. The references section can list any references for the package. Now, there are two lines that I actually want to draw special attention to. Notice that these two lines are not actually in any section of the help file. If we don't delete these lines or comment them out, it'll actually cause errors later on. So I'm going to remove them from the help file. Next, we have a keyword component where I can add additional keywords if I like, and there's also a see also section. Here I'll add links to the EDA plot, my PDF, and Mario Kart help files. Lastly, we come to the examples in the package help file. Notice that the current content actually is not executable code. This will cause an error when the package is checked. For this reason, this should be deleted. However, I'm going to leave it in so we have an example of something that can go wrong during the check stage in a later video. This completes our look at the package help file. I'm going to save it and close it. With the description, namespace, and help files now filled in, we're prepared to build the package and share it with others, or install the package on our own computer. We'll cover these topics in the next video.